So if you're a man of culture and have been holding Dogecoin or any of the other meme coins, even through the sharp declines, all I can say is kudos to your diamond hands. But if you feel like these coins you're holding are worthless now, and you just don't want the shame of taking the actual loss, there may be hope for you yet. Let me introduce you to Block Ape Scissors, a new project that aims to give relevancy to all the meme coins and shit coins by being able to use them to play, earn, and leverage. How exactly do they plan to do this? Well, let's talk about how to play first. Remember your meme coins and shit coins? You can use this as an entry fee to wager and play against another player or ape, one versus one. The gameplay is a simple rock, paper, and scissors game, where rock is block, paper is ape, and scissors is, well, scissors. The winner will then get all the coins that was wagered. So what's the use of playing the game if all you're winning is just the dead meme coins and shit coins with no value? Well, you can wager other kinds of coins and currencies with actual value, and you can win NFTs while playing the game. There will also be tournament modes which will allow you to win even more prizes and rewards. And some NFTs will actually be able to grant you higher seedings, or basically put you further in the tournament bracket, so your odds of winning the tournament will be a lot higher. Winning games and tournaments will also allow you to climb the rankings of the leaderboards, which will also have rewards depending on your placement. So by playing tournaments, climbing rankings, and earning NFTs, we've covered the play and earn part of the project. So what about the leverage? Before we get into that, let's first talk about the BAS token or the Block Ape Scissors tokens. This native token of the game can be used to enter battles, tournaments, or exchange for NFTs. You will be able to use the BAS token for the farms, and I'll get back to farms in a bit. There will also be a portion of the tokens that will be burned as transaction fees to control the supply. Each trade transaction will also incur taxes and the BS tokens earned this way will be distributed back to the players, used for marketing and LP, prize pools, bounties, and others. Later on, those who hold BAS tokens will also be able to vote and propose the direction for the future of the game. The BAS tokens can actually be bought now on PancakeSwap if you already want to support the project and the developers. So I mentioned farms, which is actually the leverage part of the project. The farm refers to yield farms. If you're not familiar with yield farming, think of it like loaning your money and making interest. Except, instead of money, you will be locking in your BAS tokens. So for the farming feature, it will ask you to lock in your BAS tokens for the day and provide you with a DPY or a daily percentage yield on these BAS tokens. But the interesting thing about Block Ape Scissors is that it allows the apes to wager or bet a portion of their DPY and use this to challenge other apes. The winner will then have their DPY increased depending on the wagered amount. NFTs will also be able to alter or affect certain yield characteristics of the farm. Staking is another interesting way to get value from having BAS tokens today. The devs even have a tiered reward system based on the amount of BAS tokens that you will stake. You can earn a bunch of NFTs if you start staking now. So the concept seems interesting, right? If it still sounds a little bit confusing, don't worry. BAS will have an alpha test with gameplay tentatively releasing on August 16th, and I'll be able to show you guys some footage because I'm partnering with BAS to showcase this project. BAS also has some interesting future partnerships coming soon, especially with Dogecoin and BAS sponsoring the big Dogepalooza event on October. They are also partnering up with Garrett from Mr. Beast to bring you guys some future content. And that's it for the video today guys, thanks for watching, hope you learned a little bit more about BAS and let me know in the comments below if you're hyped for this project or if you're holding on to a lot of meme coins or shit coins. Maybe this project will help you out in the future. Again guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. This is your Captain Solto signing out. See you guys in the next video. Bye!